Eleven years ago, earthquake triggered tsunami caused a major accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Multiple explosions ripped through the roofs and walls of some reactor buildings at Tokyo Electric Power's facility. These reactor buildings were ruined due to the explosion, but now, as you can see, it's covered. Under the cover, removal of spent nuclear fuel is in progress. As radioactive levels inside the reactors remain high, workers have remotely removed about 2,000 spent nuclear fuel rods from pools, or two-thirds of the total. Other things have changed outside the reactors. The operational environment has been considerably improved. Even without protective suits, like those needed immediately after the accident, we can report from here like this. The plant was likened to a field hospital just after the accident. But most areas have been decontaminated, and workers do not need to wear protective gear there. Here's another change for the better. Perhaps surprisingly, there are two convenience stores at the site. Workers can buy their lunch, snacks, which make them feel more at ease. The plant also has a cafeteria where workers can have hot meals. Amid the progress, there are major obstacles that must be tackled. This is what remains controversial, the treated water. It has no color, no odor, and water just like this, which includes tritium, is released from nuclear power plants all around the world to the ocean. Water, highly contaminated with radioactive substances, is produced every day at the reactors. The water is run through a decontaminating device. But the radioactive element, tritium, cannot be removed. The treated water is accumulating in more than 1,000 storage tanks built on the plant, but space is running out. Such treated water has conventionally been diluted to certain levels and released into the sea in Japan and abroad. The Japanese government and TEPCO plan to dilute the treated water to 1 40th of the country's standard level and release it to the ocean starting as early as in 2023. However, the fishery industry is concerning that the action could damage the reputation of seafood in the area. Another difficult issue is the removal of nuclear fuel debris. Finally, 11 years after the accident, the trial removal of fuel debris will start this year. The amount of debris or melted nuclear fuel in the reactors is estimated to total 880 tons. TEPCO has been remotely surveying the interior of the reactors. Officials plan to use a robot arm to collect several grams of debris from the number two reactor this year. The sample is expected to help come up with ways to remove the massive amounts of remaining debris. One of the people involved in the debris removal project is a 20-year-old TEPCO employee who is from Fukushima Prefecture. Nemoto joined TEPCO two years ago. The road to a decommissioning is expected to be long and harsh, but things are moving forward, slowly 
but surely.